If you edit in Premiere Pro, I want to give you five tips why they use when they make my editing day fast. So number one, how to enable and disable clip. You know, so normally if you want to enable and disable clip, you're going to need to right click, click on enable. If you want to enable and back, you right click, go back to enable. Instead of you to begin to do that one every time, just go your keyboard shortcut, search on enable here, yeah? then click on um, drag and pull for E. So anytime when you press E for keyboard, you go enable, you go disable, just like that. So number two, now to copy and paste. Like let's say you get a particular clip, you copy them. You know, say if you paste them normally, you go paste on top the clip waiting for this place, this bottom clip. If you copy a particular clip like this, if you want paste them here, so what you go need to do, just come here, turn off your video one, turn on your video four, control V. You go see and say, you go paste for video four. Same thing with audio. If you copy audio, if you want to post them for, for uh, audio three, if you just come out of this guy, uncheck all this guy, then paste time you go see and say and go paste for video audio three number three now to cut instead of you to begin to go carry your result to the one cut you could just move your player to a particular place Control k if you want cut a particular clip but if you want cut plenty clip at once select all of them Control k to cut all of them instead of you to begin the so number four na caption let's say you don't caption a particular video and you won't change the font you're not going to begin to change the font one one already for here now i get a different font yeah, I get scared. The thing goes really scared. And there yeah, I get SF San Francisco. What I'm going to do, I'll just go to the first font. You can see this arrow button. Click on them. You can tell you, see, all captions on track. <laughs> Click OK. You can see and say, even that scare font, don't change. Then finally, number five. You know, sometimes if you cut clip like this, you want to go a different place. Like the thing fit Congo Zuzu. Congo, another place, go line. Uh -huh. Especially when you know old shift. So, Instead of you to begin the carry clip manually the drag or begin to use your mouse the carry clip just hold option or alt for your keyboard click on that clip then press your arrow button up you can see and see the clip don't they jump they go up if one man come down you go come down if one man go up you will go up if you also want to carry this clip come put here make it be the first you could just need to carry the clip if you put an angle there on top of the old clip so what you go do you could just click on the clip hold command can and go then you go see and say go position then shift orders then take position chamo i hope so you understand if you like you like if you like you comment if you like you share bye bye